On this very street is the residence of Malam Garba, a 67-year-old man who has allegedly locked away his daughter, Umi Garba, for five years. Within the confines of this room, Umi Garba's life became a living nightmare, an all-in-one restroom, bedroom, and dining area for half a decade. Safiya Mustafa, a 50-year-old woman living just a few blocks away, became the unexpected hero who raised the alarm that eventually led to Umi Garba's rescue. The woman went there. As the woman came back, she told me that she even see the girl, they have tied her hand and leg. And if they want to give her food, they will put it for a ground. She will just eat from there. Now I can't see Kai. I did agree. Let me go and see myself. Then I do one uh, uh, this thing. I went there like I come to visit the woman. I say, ah, long time. I say, I just entered to come and greet you. So I saw the, the girl there. Human rights activist Muspa Basirka was among the first responders to the distress call. Uh, we received a report from their neighbors or from the neighbors to her father. Uh, who reported the case to us, and uh, we immediately forwarded the case to the uh, 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 National, National Security and Civil Defense Corp headquarters at the state headquarters. We lodged a complaint in which uh, we were given a gender officer uh, to accompany us to the confound of the victim. The suspects, Garbo Musa and his wife, who happens to be Ummi's stepmother, are now in the custody of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps for further investigation. I received a, a complaint that was lodged by a human rights um, activist that um, there was a complaint in an area that is Taku site here in Jigawa that um, the, a lady, a young girl, a 25-year-old, was locked inside the house. So upon bringing her to the command, uh, she was taken to by one of our officers to be bathed a lady officer, a female officer, I mean, and put her into shape. So then we started um, listening to the complaints. And thereafter, we swung into action whereby we invited or arrested the father of the girl and her stepmom. While Umi has been physically rescued from her confinement, the emotional trauma she has endured and the dehumanizing experience she has had may forever leave an indelible mark on her life. Mm -hmm. So the Iliasu and our television news. Okay.